What's up guys, we're back. We're looking at some more NBA player props. In today's video, eight of our last nine days have been winning days. Unfortunately, that one loss ended up being yesterday. Looking to start a new run today and hopefully get some more winners. We've been absolutely on fire as of late. This post has not been updated, but yesterday was a two and two day, which means we're still hitting at a 76% hit rate right now. So we've hit 76% of our plays in the last nine NBA days. We've been absolutely on fire. I'm looking to get some more winners today. Let's uh, go ahead and hop in. Before we do so though, make sure you guys look at the Dub Club because Dub Club, I'm offering some special offers right now down in my description below you guys can get in and get in on all these different winners that we've been having because like i said earlier man we are on fire right now you guys can get in 50 percent off if you guys want a two month package so you're getting two months for the price of one right here you guys can get for 30 dollars my discord package which includes all of my plays sent straight to your phone on top of also getting access to my discord chat where you can talk to me and other members about plays that you like and things like that just get my opinion on your plays or if you guys just want the props only, you can get it for $20. And you can get all my plays just sent straight to your phone. So $20 if you guys just want my plays right there for two months. Or you can spend $30 and get all my plays for two months on top of also Discord access. So both links are down in my description below. My prize picks left to admit winnings over $5,700 as you guys can see right there. So I'm not I'm not just on a crazy heater right now. I've been on a crazy heater my entire time on prize picks. But if you don't know how Dub Club works, it sends all the plays that I make straight to your phone through the Dub Club app, email, Telegram, or Discord. I have some of my plays out to over 2.4 thousand subscribers and for a bunch of different sports. MLB is right around the corner, March 30th. I'm so excited for that because that is tied for my best sport with the NBA. So we've been absolutely on fire this year, hoping to get some more W's and all my plays are posted to the dub club. So make sure you guys get in two months for the price of one, $30 for the discord, or you can get $20 right now, again, for two months, if you guys want just the plays. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Link for that is down in my description below. And I also want to show you this app right here. It's called Chalkboard. I personally absolutely love this app. It has some of the best payouts. Like for example, this entry that I'm going to give you guys today pays out a 3.17x, I believe it is on Chalkboard, compared to like a 3x on prize picks. So it can get you guys some better payouts and things like that. And they have a ton of cool categories on this board. For example, they have the first rebound. So instead of just first basket, they also have first First rebound and first assist. So some really cool player prop markets here on Chalkboard. So check it out for yourself. Use promo code DUMG. The link is down my description below, but use that promo code right there, DUMG, for your first time deposit match up to $100. Check it out. Link is down in my description below. But now let's get to what you guys have been waiting for, the player props. So make sure you play responsibly and at your own risk and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Also leave a like and turn on those post notifications so you guys do not miss future uploads. Let's hop into it. The first player prop that I like today is going to be AO over 22 and a half PRA today. I also don't mind them over 13 and a half points or 14 points. I also don't mind the points plus assist either at 18 and a half. But personally, I am playing them over 22 and a half PRA. I like the payout here and I like the spot a lot here for him today. Let's take a look at why I like this today with props.cash. This is the player prop research tool that I use, but let's look at his last 10 games here. First off, he's over in six of his last 10 games. So decent hit rate in his last 10 games over in six of them. But what I want to focus on here is the minutes. He's been seeing a crazy amount of minutes. He's seen 36 plus minutes in nine straight games and 32 plus minutes in all of his last 10 games. So in games where he's seen 34 plus minutes, which he should see if, as long as there's no blowout today, which is not expected to be, it's like a four point spread. But uh, with 34 plus minutes this year, he's over in 70% of games, 14 out of 20. But how about in games without Zach Levine? That hit rate goes up to 74%. He's over in 14 out of 19 games, which of course is no Zach Levine today. He is out for the year. But on top of that, if you take a look at games where he's at home, it goes up to 78%. They will be at home today facing the Dallas Mavericks. He does see a bit of a decrease with one day of rest goes down to 60%, but I'm not super worried about that. But uh, should be a really, really nice spot for him here. I like the matchup here a lot against Dallas, by the way. He's played Dallas once this year, but it was like back in November, I believe it was. Yeah, it was back November 1st. He had 10 PRA against them, so not very good. But if you look at the minutes that he had in that game, he only played 11 minutes. So we had 10 PRA and 11 minutes already this year against Dallas, but take that with a grain of salt because again, you only saw 11 minutes and it was on November 1st. So it was a long time ago at this point. So love spider for, the, for him though. If you take a look at shooting guards here and kind of how they match up against uh, Dallas this year, they allow the fourth most points per game to the shooting guards, the fourth most rebounds per game, and also the uh, fifth most assist per game to opposing shooting guards. So they've been a really, really nice matchup for them. In the last seven games, they definitely have been a little bit better when it comes to uh, playing opposing shooting guards. They're kind of right in the middle of the pack, allowing 21.8 points per game, 7.51 rebounds per game, and 5.57 assists per game. It's also a really nice matchup again for uh, point guards too, especially in the last seven games. So I like a little bit of Kobe White today. And if AO does get some reps a little bit at uh, point guard, he should have a pretty good game there. So really nice matchup there as well. So 
Love spot for him today. The matchup is amazing. He's great when he sees his minutes, which he's been seeing his minutes. And he just has to shoot, you know, decent. Because some of those games where he missed, he, he shot 29% and 18%. So, I mean, the field goal attempts were there in those games. He shot 4 for 14 and 2 for 11 in those games. So, just has to shoot, you know, pretty well, be efficient, and he should be able to clear this line here. We're going to move on to player prep number two in just a second here. But if you like this tool that I'm using right now, it's called props.cash. You can get it for yourself. The link for it is down in my description below. And promo code DMG can get you guys 25% off your first month so it's only be $15 for your first month which is really good compared to some other player prop tools out there so promo code dmg for props.cash link is down in my description below now let's hop into the second player prop that i like today it's going to be aaron gordon over 19 and a half points plus rebounds here this one it needs to stay close i'm gonna tell you guys right now if this game is a blowout he's probably going under and it does have a 14 and a half point spread i have a little bit of faith that the raptors can keep this one close but uh, i'll explain why i like aaron gordon so much today so let's take a look at this here so aaron gordon here let's go to his last 10 games look at his minutes the games where he has not gone over really and games where he hasn't seen like his normal like 27 plus minutes have all been blowouts utah blowout sacramento blowout washington and even portland right there blowout if it's not a blowout he can easily see 32 plus minutes today but it is the raptors and they are kind of depleted pleaded right now. There's no Jakobo. There's a lot of things wrong with uh, this game and how it can get out of hand. But I do have some faith that this one can stay close. And if it does stay close, I think he easily clears this line. So let's look at games where he's seen 27 plus minutes. But like I said earlier, I think he can easily see about 30 plus minutes as long as this game does stay close. But in games with 27 plus minutes, he's over in 68% of games this year. And at games at home, goes up to 89%. He is a monster when it comes to playing at home and when he sees a full amount of minutes. Also in games that they win, it goes up to 73%. The splits continue to stay awesome here with one day of rest going up to 76% there. So a lot of awesome things here about Aaron Gordon when it comes to his splits. He's better at home with wins and also being on one day of rest. So a lot of things are going pretty good there. I will say though, he did go under last time against Toronto. He had 17 PR in about 30 minutes right there. So that is definitely something to kind of uh, take note of. However, that game I believe was with Jacopoto playing and this time around, they do not have him around. Also, Scotty Barnes is out as well. So they don't really have anyone to really stop Aaron Gordon because they're gonna have to worry about Jokic here, which I have also two reasons for Jamal Murray to be kind of bad today. I think he's in a really, really tough matchup. I think he could have a tougher game out there. And in games where the Nuggets kind of, uh, you know, destroy their opponent like they probably will today with Toronto, uh, he just gets a little bit less aggressive. So I'm thinking Jokic could have uh, kind of lower field goal attempts than normal. I think they could put two guys in really nice spots today, Michael Porter Jr. and Aaron Gordon. I think, I think Porter's in a great spot as well, but I ultimately set on Aaron Gordon. And all I think he needs today is going to be those minutes. As long as he sees the minutes, he should be in a great, great spot. But also, take a look at power forwards and how they kind of match up here against Toronto this year. Against Toronto, they've actually been uh, somewhat decent against power forward, allowing 22.99 points per game, 8.66 rebounds per game. But look at the last seven games here to power forwards. They allow the third most points per game to power forwards. And for rebounds per game, they allow the fifth most per game. So they're getting destroyed right now by power forwards. I think Aaron Gordon is the next guy to step up here and have a really good game against Toronto. He just needs the minutes today as long as this game stays close. I think you should be able to clear this line easily. So if you guys have faith in the Raptors today, you might like this. But if you think the Nuggets just come out and destroy Toronto, then maybe you don't like this one as much. Again, though, if you guys want to get all my plays sent straight to you, check out the Dub Club. The link for it is down in my description below with two different special offers. You guys are only paying for one month, yet you're getting two months. So both options are down in my description below if you guys want to get access. And if you guys want an awesome player prop research tool, check out the Daily Grind tools. Link are down in my description below if you guys want to get access to these tools. This right here is going to be the optimizer. It finds the best expected value plays on all these different player prop sites. So if you guys are on prize picks, underdog, you can find you some really nice value plays. All you have to do with this tool here is click the refresh button. When you press refresh button, it pulls up the best expected value plays on that player prop site. Right now, there's a lot of League of Legends value right now when it comes to some esports on prize picks right now. So some good value there if you guys want to go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So there's also tooling tools included, by the way, with this research tool, the middling tool and fantasy score projection tool. On top of that, you guys can also find plays that fit really nicely into like a two pick power play if that's what you prefer or five pick flex, sips it flex, finds you some really nice value plays there as well. Check it out for yourself. Click the link down in my description below and then click on Fantasy Bundle and then go ahead and scroll down. You guys can use that promo code DUMG to get 25% off your first month. So these options will get a little bit cheaper for you. And like I said earlier, there's three tools wrapped in this Fantasy Bundle, which includes that optimizer that I just showed you. But also they have another tool sold separately called the Correlation Tool. This tool is up 903.6 units since August 18th. It just broke the over 900 unit barrier right there. 
they're almost up a thousand units, which is seriously insane. That's like less than a year there. That was for a bunch of different apps, a bunch of different sports, things like that. So since the NHL board isn't up right now and things like that, they just only have the esports value right now on CSGO, which, you know, prize picks, they have some uh, correlated plays here with uh, CSGO. And also they have the same kind of type of uh, thing with uh, CSGO over on Underdog. So some really nice esports value right here that is correlated. You guys can get this tool for yourself. Link is down in the description below, but make sure you click on this time, the DFS correlation tool. With this tool, you guys can go ahead and get it right now. Now, promo code DMG, 25% off your first month. So go ahead and check that out. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Looking to make that run even better, man. Hoping that run can get to 9-1 and one if we uh, have a really good day today. So be in the dub club. You guys can go ahead and check that out right now. We are absolutely on fire. I've been winning, you know, my entire career when it comes to these uh, sports books and uh, DFS sites. So hoping we can stay winning, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. Peace out. Thank you for watching.